Hi. I just saw what you wrote there. I I just have to <laughs> say sorry, but I'm, I can't type all these mini, mini things. <laughs> Although I would like to burst <laughs> and, and want you to, to, to know what I did. And I could have ended up as a disaster. <laughs> and, and <laughs> Well, because since I'm always saying what I just think about, hmm? More or less. <laughs> so I took the phone and I was asked by friends, what are you doing? I'm calling the mayor of Hamburg. What? <laughs> what you're doing what? <laughs> I'm calling the mayor of Hamburg. If you don't mind. The thingy dingy ding. <laughs> but at first they th said, and you think you can talk to the mayor just like that, but simply because you want to. Yes? <laughs> Why not? He has a telephone. I'm sure about that. And it's, it's working both ways, probably. What is, what is wrong with you fellows? <laughs> And do you, do you really think that you could simply call the mayor of Hamburg and be even able to get through to their office? <laughs> you never know unless you try. Well, if I'm in, so I call them <laughs> and spoke to the secretary. And she didn't quite get what I want. Then <laughs> maybe he was confused. Because everybody just calls there because they want money. And then he said, mm, Oh, so they're restoring it. They, well, that's nice. And then if that should be a present to the town of Hamburg, he will. He, well, she can. And she is just. <laughs> you, you really leave the, that thing and we, since we wouldn't pay for it. What is, it all, what is wrong with you? I never mentioned the word money for at all. I mean, not... <laughs> I, I try to make it short, but I pro don't, cannot promise. I can't promise that. Because <laughs> unbelievable. That's <laughs> something that I had because I couldn't stand it not to be there and help all of you. I couldn't be, take part in a movie. I couldn't... Uh, Get some rest. <laughs> yes, because we'll sell that stuff. And <laughs> I thought so. It just popped up in London a few days ago. That <laughs> this should be. It should be a little souvenir store there. Sooner or later. But first of all, I spoke with the secretary. Well, we are not really. Um. <laughs> Mm, it's this is the wrong address for stuff like that and for things like that. What? I said <laughs> that I'm talking about the ship, the Wappen von Hamburg, who <laughs> was bought by an American, and all I mean, he already has. Everybody would like to take part. Everybody does it. Everybody helps him. He doesn't is not quite sure what he's going to do later on. But well, if you could, I'll give you a few addresses or send me some links. What for? I thought. Hmm. Mm -mm. Nope, <laughs> the ship won't be um, leaving <laughs> those <laughs> spaces and places. That's not up to me. I I just want to tell you that I have nothing to do. With the ownership, although I feel like it. <laughs> I simply, I mean, everybody who does really work hard there, that they, they are artists, there are <laughs> great things to, that many possibilities, I mean. And you will tell, you are you, are you telling me that the town of Hamburg is not interested in a ship, a cruise ship, that 
was the first one allowed to be built and be in the water because all the <laughs> All the allies agreed on that, and finally we could do it. And so that was the one who made it possible for people to have at least a day off or two, to go on a cruise on a perfect ship. Those people did a miracle there. All I was asking for was, some of them, like, like a public viewing, and I have no idea how to organize that. Well, yes, but you could... There is a museum that you could talk to. There's a, a society that is taking care of that. Maybe you should call there first. And in that very moment, I already thought, oh, God, what am I doing here? I didn't even ask for permission. Because I... I that worked in me for, for months. Why shouldn't I go for it and then <laughs> get through to them and tell them this is um, bringing us together. This is something like the average, but <laughs> it's floating and we cannot hire a plane to put that ship in there and try <laughs> over... over. <laughs> Um, I mean, say by where the Russians and then somebody else is fighting. Ah, oh, fighting. And <laughs> totally out of the question. That ship will be in danger. Uh, and they worked so hard, the women, men, and, and they take the extra time. And you, you should go to that YouTube channel. And maybe write it down. Do you have my name, my number? Yes. <laughs> of course he had. <laughs> That's his job, right? And he was still very kind, although he didn't quite get what I wanted. I would like you to decide that this is the perfect timing to give something back to the people. To remind them of their past. That's very important. And we could install that and... Say thank you, at least that. <laughs> I picked that town because that was exactly the place where she saw, saw water or felt it for the first time. <laughs> I, I use slightly different words, but in all, all, I mean, I did the same. I said, well, are you aware of the fact that that was the first ship that ever was built here again. What am I supposed to do? Should I go to Blumenfoss? Why? Are they involved in that? Oh, yes, they are. I didn't mention some oligarchs that like to go there, too. <clears throat> oh, they were quickly, quickly taking their yachts out of that area quite a while ago and if it was up to me they can stay wherever they are they want to but on this country <laughs> and, um, so I had to, to focus focus don't overdo it here or he will not comprehend me and what I wanted to say if it worked back then in 1955 could work right now. It could bring people together. There will always be people complaining about everything. But uh, since they already had to pass my home hometown and another one to make it all the way to Helgoland, even the that rock resisted. <laughs> the English wanted to bomb it away. That was quite some power they used. Mm. But there, that island is still standing. We are standing. Sometimes not. So I am not. <laughs> but I'm definitely in the mood to do something from... I was maybe overdoing it a little. Because 
What should I say? What should I do? How can I bring my point across to you? That I would simply try to call. One phone call. What else, what could have possibly be the worst thing that could happen? No. That word. Two little letters and that's what should scare me. I mean... Mm -mm. <laughs> yes, but um, I already made myself pretty clear. I would like to see those people and the, it, the other way around. I simply have no idea how to do that. And I think you should think about that again because you may not know it, but that was Max Bauer was the mayor. Back then, and people loved him. They they named streets after him, alleys and and places and spaces, whatever there is. I mean, you will find that name. And I happen to know his nephew. He was a great painter, and maybe one day, my friend who owns a perfect gallery can manage to to. Show the pictures. Right. Even yours. Why not? They are good. Mm. <laughs> and so, so everything works together like like those things I'm normally using on my hair. Like <laughs> and my hat. That was what I mean. But I'm not trying to fool you because I was sent right over to you. I will never go on a trip like that again. Before I asked all of you. In this case, I need to have some, also have some contact with Chris before. But I had no idea what to say. If that was slightly overstepping my boundaries or not. But maybe you, you would have known what I meant. You would have understood me. I didn't have to think about a worst-case scenario because there is no bad thing about it. <laughs> it's a miracle. And even in the United States of America, where everybody was getting paranoid because some people had a different skin tone. <laughs> and, and I'm about to show them on a map. It may not be co totally correct by now. How much space for people there really is. Totally unused ground. They wouldn't be have to, wouldn't have to be afraid. They could still have their own ideas about st stuff that is common. And uh, yet, I think when I'm over there, I can convince a few people if we can have a party. Old fashioned stuff. Old school. <laughs> like potato salad, stuff like that. And maybe <laughs> somebody I like very much. Her name is Kamala Harris. <laughs> She's about my age. <laughs> maybe you don't mind the Secret Service. I'm checking everything, right? <laughs> <laughs> I know what's unrealistic, what's possible and what's not. But people never should do what they urgently need. And that means information and location. And what willpower can mean. And you proved it. So nobody can prove me wrong. <laughs> and I think those people are brilliant. And I am making... Uh, I'm trying to make videos. So I'll get that name in the... I make them in English and German. <laughs> I'm, even if they are too long. I'm not a specialist. And I, I just have my little booklet here. And, and <laughs> novel paper. And I'm in love with that ship. She's like a friend. 
and proves that people of every kind of skin tone can reach something and can stick together no matter what times we are living in. Uh, give or take one or two viruses. I mean, I don't want somebody to suffer. I don't want them to be afraid because that is the biggest virus of all. And that is a sign. And I don't want to miss it for the world. That's what I wanted. That they are informed about what's going on. I would like to be in every news magazine and grab you, take <laughs> you and bring you there. You can talk you to your to a wider um audience about movies. Mark does movies. You do movies. All those um, wonderful people have talents, skills, and deserve the best. Appreciation would be at least something. And <laughs> if there are blueberries, pick a few, because I would like to be, be able, at least that, <laughs> to some um, guests if they want to step down for breakfast or wake up and then and I could bring raspberry jelly because when I'm surrounded I have red apples and raspberry fields and you're surrounded by blue water and blueberries and if that is not a sign I don't know what else I should say because I want red mm -mm. I have such a lot of things on my mind. All I need is is one of those... Everybody has that headset and stuff, but I don't know where to buy it and not be ripped off. And I'll be talking non-stop to the people. Even about sweet water and the problems with that. I could bring in the arts. I will deliver. And you can paint. So does somebody living close to me. And whose relative was the mayor? Who sent him this way and found some proper words for it. He even wrote me. That could be a... Just with a little fantasy and skill and willpower. And if I, I already can stand up now, I'm training. See, it's healthy. And, hmm. You can yell, objection, objection. <laughs> no. I heard you. Some others might too. And I'll do everything I can to <laughs> let somebody else hear that message. I even am exchanging that with people I never met, I had, who are not the brightest ones if it comes to pretending they are four star generals. And. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I don't mind. I know about your willpower over there. And I feel pretty intrigued by it. And, oh yes, I do have some fantasy. I won't butt in too much. <laughs> but I could <clears throat> collect data and then send it over to you. I couldn't even send my money because I don't know how it works. <laughs> Yes, a fifty dollar um, oil bill had a baby. It doubled. Hmm. It's just waiting to be sent over there, and I have no idea what to type in and where to do it. Could you find out? Because I don't want to sit here and feel like I'm betraying you or lie to you, simply because I have no idea how to send that away. Hmm. And 
you could make that um, you could uh, ideas, lack of ideas, no way. <laughs> I just don't know if Bootsy Collins would come along. It's a casual thing. I mean, like it doesn't have to be fancy at all. A little celebration. And every news magazine better should be uh, not missing the tide. <laughs> and um, unfortunately, might be observed by me and you. Nobody will harm that ship. Mm -mm. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Because I, I think so. That's my way to get rid of some energy, and I have plenty of that. Would it be possible to get a wheelchair on board of a ship, since I'm bringing along a, somebody else who officially we we plan to see the Indian summer, but hey, I did that already, and I will do it again. I know plenty of that. I love the East Coast, but now it's time to see something else. Oh, the perfect timing. Not for everybody. That's why I didn't quite speak to my friend with the gallery. She lost her mom. And she's still sad. I cannot come. Open up your gallery and hey, we are organizing something. Because she learned that. She definitely did. She studied it. Hmm. <laughs> I better forgot something, but nothing worth worrying about. Some people do right now. They are panicking in Russia. The <laughs> ticket prices at the airports are going through the roof. They all want to go away, and probably they know why. I won't. Unless, hmm, I come to that stuff when it's happening. But that is a mission that shouldn't be handed over to some total strangers who never <laughs> said one foot on that. I was it are we? I am already talking to the Aurora for quite some time now. It works. <laughs> She can be a best friend, you know. Hmm? <laughs> Maybe it would be a good idea to... Being able to adopt some chairs. <laughs> Which would be plenty. I mean, worth a lot. If you had a little plate there on a, a chair and only these, <laughs> that amount or per percent of all together could be having a, a kind of a godmother or godfather <laughs> and everything that would work to raise more money. Well, we won't sell our souls and our goodwill. But don't let somebody else touch that ship. <laughs> Unless it's just out of curiosity. Because, yeah. The Aurora and Crystal is wonderful girlfriend. All those wonderful people. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I consider them my friends. All of you. I feel safe around you. Even from afar. That's about what happened. <laughs> Bye. Oh. One of the few things I didn't mention. I'm sorry that I stuttered almost all the time. <laughs> I 
I just want to find the right words. And so that's why I didn't find them at all sometimes. It's not that easy to think in two languages at the same time. 